secures justice for the oppressed, who gives bread to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects the resident alien. He comes to the aid of the orphan and the widow, but towards the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, Zion, to all generations. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful, not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised <coughs> of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that we are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, <coughs> sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. them saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are very privileged to be celebrating Mass here on the Mount of Beatitudes, because the Beatitudes, in a way, encapsulate the whole of the Christian life. Many uh, Masses for special occasions, such as marriages or ordinations, uh, have this particular gospel passage as one of the options for it. It's often it also can be used at uh, funerals um, and in various votive masses of the saints. And it is not surprising that this uh, uh, text has such prominence because here on this hill, this mountain, uh, Christ made it clear that he was the new lawgiver. The first law from Moses was given also on a mountain, 
much higher mountain, Mount Sinai. And now Christ came to reveal the fullness of the law, not to contradict the law, but to fulfill it on another mountain, uh, this mountain here, the Mount of Beatitudes. And Christ's uh, uh, teaching began with these uh, Beatitudes, but then he went and expounded some of the old law and made it clear that the Christian must do better. You have heard that it was said to the men of old, you shall not kill, he went on to say, but I say to you, he who calls his brother a fool is already liable to uh, judgment. And same with lust, it wasn't just the act of adultery that was uh, sinful, it was already lusting in the heart. So ours is a much more demanding morality, and Christ also uh, shows us that we must uh, use uh, our uh, mental powers, our reasoning, to uh, come to reason about new situations uh, as well that he didn't legislate for at the time. But it is a way of life, it is a vision, uh, a vision that we believe that we are created in the image of God and that we have been redeemed by Jesus Christ. And this new law, of course, is much more demanding and in fact, it would be uh, very discouraging to have just received the law. But Christ also gives us the means to keep it. By uh, He first of all kept it himself, giving us an example. But also by dying on the cross and rising from the dead, he gives us grace to be able to keep this new law. Uh, so that it becomes possible for us, not just to conform ourselves to an external morality, but so that we can conquer ourselves, gain self-mastery, self-control, and so that we can become fit for the kingdom of heaven which Christ announced on this very Mount of the Attitudes. Peace rise for the prayers of the faith. <laughs> In pilgrimage on these holy mountain, we are gathered to listen to the teachings of Jesus, our teacher and our Lord. His gospel is the good news of our lives, the beatitude of our spirit. He invites us to joy. Let us pray that the Lord make us attentive to, these, to his word, always ready to receive it and put it into practice. And may we dare to say to him, make us holy, Lord, as you are holy. Lord, you told us to ask of the Father, your kingdom come. <clears throat> we pray for the church, for the Pope, for the bishops, and for the priests. May we never stop reminding ourselves that the kingdom is already ours if we remain in simplicity of spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you were persecuted for defending justice to give us the kingdom of God. May our faith be a natural and fruitful source in our engagement for justice. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you promise comfort to those who suffer. We pray that compassion may grow in us, make us repent of our omissions of solidarity and fraternity. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you want us to be merciful and gentle. Give us the grace to remember that mercy and gentleness are virtues of the strong, even though they seem weak to us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you call us to love those whom you love. Help us know how to transmit the faith, how to give our young children a taste for involvement and the will to be pure of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, the times in which we live impose so many painful and exhausting choices. Placing ourselves on the side of good is not always easy, but you invite us to rejoice and exalt in persecution. Suffered for your name, give us the courage to witness to our faith in words and deeds. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the many silent intentions we have in our hearts.
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. On this mountain, Lord, you taught your disciples, and today you teach us the joy of belonging to you and following you. Accept our prayers that express how much we want to respond to the demands of your gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all sing, I give you my heart on page 17. This is my desire to honor sisters of my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these our offering, O Lord, purify and renew us and obtain for whoever is faithful to your will the eternal recompense that Jesus your Son promised us with his teaching so lives and reigns forever. And Amen. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, for through his paschal misery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 God. cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy the gifts we have brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
or this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving the holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body, one spirit, and May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for and fell in help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Fuad our Patriarch, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of these family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you. Other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor he shows forever and ever. Amen. And to save your human and form the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have
in the gardens and then to the Oh, sure. And they have some family actually. Hi, Tahan. Oh, <laughs> One more, just to be Okay, make sure I got it. 